Hi, boys and girls. Are you ready for our phonics lesson? I am going to be listing some words, and let's see if you can figure out how many syllables are in the words. It's going to remind you about our book from last week about chickens aren't the only ones. So here's our first word. Show me with your fingers how many syllables you think are in that word. Our first one is chickens. Mm -hmm. Chickens. Two syllables. How about inside? Inside. Inside. Two syllables. How about this one? Naturally. Ooh, that's a long one. Naturally. Naturally. That was a three syllable. How about the word ostrich? Ostrich. Two syllables. He lays the big, or she lays the biggest eggs in the world and hummingbird hummingbird who lays the smallest eggs hummingbird hummingbird three syllables how about crocodile 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 another three syllable word what about the word snakes there are a lot of snakes in the world snakes only one syllable. How about this one? Lizards. Lizards. Two syllables. How about dinosaurs? Ooh, dinosaurs are extinct. Dinosaurs. Three syllables. And how about extinct? Extinct. Extinct. Two syllables. How many syllables are in the word seahorses? The dad seahorses carry the babies, in, the eggs in their pouch. Seahorses. Oh my goodness. Seahorses. Seahorses. Three syllables. And mermaid. That one shark lays a mermaid pouch, they call it. Mermaid. Two syllables. What about the word said? Said said one syllable and the last one octopus 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 another three syllable one good job my friends if you got a lot of those right well this week we are going to be working on our rule that we know of when two vowels go walking the first one does the talking but we are going to be working on words that have two vowels of E and A in the middle of them. So when we are learning how to read and write the words that have E-A in the middle, we are just going to say E, which we know is the long sound. We've already worked on O-A like in goat and boat, but now it's going to be E-A for E. When two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. Okay. Ooh, what do you call this little guy? A seal. I'm going to cover up these. What do you call the green things that grow on plants and trees that have E in the middle? If you said leaf, you got it right. What do we do with books? Oh, read. And sometimes when we're in Forest Hills, Mrs. Turney would say, come and have a seat. So we have seal, ooh, seat, leaf, and read. I'll have the E-A vowel team in the middle, and we hear the long E in the middle of all of those words. Well, friends, I'm going to say some words to you right now. If you hear that E, the long vowel sound, Give me big hands. If you hear eh, the short E, give me small hands. You ready? Here's our first one, and then I'll tell you the answer and see if we are a match. The first one is eat. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Eat is a big one. How about tell? Tell. I can tell you I would rather be at Forest Hills. L. How about bed? Bed. Short. What about the word seed? S 
feed. That's a long one. How about me? Me. That's a long one. How about heels? We can walk on our heels. Ha heels is a long one. How about this one? Crept. Somebody crept into their room. Crept. That's a short vowel. What about the word keep? I can keep a secret. That's a long vowel. And here's a really long word. Freedom. Fr Freedom. That's a long vowel. And our last one is shed. Mr. Tierney keeps his tools in a shed. Short. Good job, my friends. Now, I'm going to hit pause here in a minute because, oh, guess what? I can't hit pause. So you're going to have to hit pause if you need it. But I need you to get a green marker and a blue marker. A green and a blue. It could even be a crayon. It doesn't matter. And hit pause if you need to go get them, or maybe they're right there in front of you. And for this week's work, friends, we do not have the papers that you can just get from your piles. So you're going to be doing this by holding up the marker that you think best matches. If you hear E, which is the long vowel, hold up your blue marker. If you hear a, which is the short sound, hold up your green marker or crayon. And then I'll show you what the answer is. So we're just having fun doing your best you can. Our first first picture is hen. Ha, n. Green or blue? Green or blue? Friends, if you were holding up your green, you got it right. The next one is tea. Let's have some tea. Long or short? T e. If you guessed your blue, good for you. The next one is jet. I would like to go in a jet someday. Jet. That one is going to be green. He was the short sound. Now this next one has the picture of this, the steam coming out of the teapot. Steam, steam. If you were holding up your blue marker, you got it right. So it went green, blue, green, blue. So now let's go down to the bottom. This boy, he is cleaning the floor. Clean. 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 That is a long E, so it's going to be blue. Oh my goodness, the boy next to him is having a dream. The dream is, oh, that they're sliding down a rainbow. Dream. Dream. Red or blue. I'm sorry, not red or blue. Green or blue. Green for short, blue for long. If you picked blue, you got it. Now the next one is a color. And it actually says the color right there. Red. R -e -e -ed. Long E or short E? R -ed. That is a short, so it's going to be green. And our very last one is of a silly puppy dog who had the hose and got himself all wet. W -e -e -t. Green for short, blue for long. If you selected a green, good for you. So it went, oh my goodness, green, blue, green, blue, and then blue, blue, green, green. Friends, all of the words that you have circled in blue have the E-A vowel team right in the middle. So we have T, that is spelled T-E-A, so that's at the end, T, steam, clean, and dream all have the E-A vowel team in the middle. Good job, my friends. Tomorrow we'll do a word sort. See you soon. Bye-bye.